You ever have those times where you're just sitting there or trying to organize all your different video games and at the same time you're also trying to think, wait a minute, how do you organize all this stuff here and then trying to make space on the system itself? This is a problem that I've been facing like the past eight to nine years playing PlayStation between the PlayStation 2 switching off memory cards and PlayStation 3 using the flash drives in order to save my data. What I'm doing now is doing a flash drive to flash drive conversion where I'm transferring a lot of the data off of my PlayStation 3 onto my flash drives since the flash drives can hold an excess amount of data. And this is where I save all of the saved games for every video game that I've ever played over the past several years. Memory card wise, it's not a bad collection to be honest with you. It's all saved up itself from Assassin's Creed to Borderlands here all the save files when I was playing with Straxus to Brotherhood to Call of Duty Ghosts I had Black Ops 2 at one point or another uh, Legend of Korra uh, some Dynasty Warriors Gundam uh, I had a lot of Final Fantasy that I had on here One Piece Pirate Warriors game I need to take a look back into that the Mortal Kombat dealio the Borderlands number two I was thinking about doing something for the pre-sequel, but I got to set up for that. I have it in my inbox just doing that. And a whole horde of other video games that are also listed here. And I do this in order to save a lot of space on my system, so there are times when I'm AFK when I'm online, because I like to systematically go through and make sure that I have everything copied from my flash drive onto the system or from the system onto the flash drive that way if I don't have the video game anymore I can always make a copy of the data take the data off the system delete everything of the video game or whatever it was about the video game from the system that way all that's left is the trophies this I can get rid of I hated this game and it was not worth the time in playing it honestly and so when I'm uninstalling or installing new games eventually all these little bits of data that each save data file encompasses does add up to a very vast number and so it pays to have little insurance let's say in timely acquiring megabyte data when you need it also if there's a game that I don't own anymore or that I have back in my collection or that I'm reinstalling if all the data of said game is gone I can reinstall before I reinstall the actual hard save, the hard, the hard game data that allows you to play the game data. <clears throat> Before I reinstall the game data itself, the utility data that allows said game to even be played on the system, I always reinstall the game save data first. That way, it installs the data for the game play before the game itself. So that way, it doesn't automatically create one if said game makes one. I know there are a few games that already make one in advance. There aren't any video games or files that do that anymore in video games of the modern day, so I think that was a programming error that was probably corrected at some companies. And then there's the different types of flash drives that I use. Granted, it's all information, this is all data, so there is no specific flash drive that you need to have for it. You just need to make sure that the flash drives are compatible with the system and make sure that there is a USB compatibility. I would say uh, there are some computer relevant stores like Micro Center or Maccabee or some, some type of techno savvy type of store where you can pick up flash drives. Considering the amounts of data that video games usually encompass and over the amount over time and how quickly they accumulate like 135 kilogram, kilobytes to 700 kilobytes to a thousand 
4,000, 5,000, all these adds up at a time, and you'd be surprised how quickly a gigabyte is reached. I would say to cover your bases, look for obtaining a 4 gigabyte to 16 gigabyte flash drive because those can hold a vast amount of information at a time between this type of platform for the PlayStation and something like a laptop or a desktop computer or something. Whatever it is that you can find that's at your convenience and that is at a reasonable price for your convenience because there are some flash drives I've seen that are absurdly priced like what the fuck that are good like 16-ish gigabytes or 20 gigabytes. I remember one time I saw one from my friend up in Japan. She brought home a 64 gigabyte flash drive that's like the size of your fingernail that was like $50. I was like, what the hell? And then there are times when there are certain complications like, for instance, Street Fighter here, where I want to try and go back and play this game. The complications with going back and playing said games is trying to do like information shuffling where I have to make space for said video game because the hard download of that game is so vast I have to make sure I have a huge amount of space in order for it to fall into place before I can even install the the game data because the game data itself and the utility data both are really huge and so you have to be able to have a good deal of space in order to fit both of them in there it's almost like, it's like playing data tetris after that, all there is to it is just keeping track of said information, keeping your flash drives close, or keeping the marker indicated so you know which ones are which, or what data is encompassed on which flash drive, and keep good organization of them. For me, I have my flash drives kind of chock full of a lot of different save files from numerous different PlayStation 3 games that I've either completed, or that I've come close to completing, or that I just played just for the heck of it and then got it off my system because I don't own the game anymore, or I only had the game for a set amount of time. Other than that, that's about it. Thanks for tuning in to the video, and I hope this answers any questions. Ciao.